Re regen yeah. and stuff like that? All of the abilities are attached to the same skill. Cool. So you get everything from it. That would be fun to see. Look, look at the players and who's playing what. As S4 picks up the OD, a lot of things. EGM dragged up, pulled away, tethered to Soul Assumption. Oh, stick charges, keep him alive. Loaded now with a four seconds on Oprah and Koi for the spirit damage, actually very high. And what was looking to be a first blood for Liquid turns in favor of Alliance. Okay. TC picked up, Loader, he is being tethered up, but look at EGM's damage, he's bottled bottle, bottle up, and now the OD imprisonment. It saves Loader from certain death, and now drops the OD only two. Loader, tons, actually picks up TC, but S4, he's in trouble. Trying to bottle charge up, not fast enough though. Now the roar out from Bulba, they're gonna get Loader, the Fable flying through him. Admiral Bulldog, he's got ulti, he goes point blank range into Bulb, but he's already too low, he cannot stick around this fight. And it ends up being a three for one with Loader, definitely getting in way too close and personal with Lick. Fight anymore? So normally you would say Stop the is bad, yeah, quite Jumping uh, in, three goodbye. seconds on the sun, he's dead. Yeah. Quick and easy rotation. Yeah. Or oh, maybe not. Okay, he's up on the higher ground, gonna be picked up, thrown down. They're actually gonna use the raw to try and bring him down. He won't get a frostbite off, but in comes the hook shot. And Bulber as well as Flubber stuff. They're locked in up close and personal with Admiral Bulldog. TC Rocket Barraging already had to imprison himself off. Admiral Bulldog has already got the first supporter. And he's gonna get flat cannon, not to death though. 74 life points, he'll survive. Oh. The OD brought down, the Axe is almost able to connect with Bulb. Keeping away, Bulba, Raw, they go on EGM. Loaded, he's got a stun up one, and he actually stuns up Fluffer stuff. There's no follow-up stun. The tether wasn't going to be anywhere enough to get him out of that one. There's a homing missile on Loader. But the rest of Liquid won't be able to catch up in time. And s force that to help Matt anyway. It should. So, especially if Bulb was out to get a kill, but again, he's trying to focus on EGM. So Loader over to the side, and now the call down as well. Loader is actually going to trigger the old one, pulls in TC, gets a four second over on the stump. The Rocket Barrage there, but Clockwork Bulldog jumps in, locks TC inside the cock. TC does not want to walk out this one, he knows it too. He has to stand his ground, take the hits from OD. More rockets flying out. But Lions pull all five players up, faking it out right now. But now the smoke reveal is a pick up on Admiral Bulldog, but he can just hookshot himself in, doesn't need to right now. They've got Fluffer stuff in so close. There's your hookshot onto Bulba and Loader. Three seconds on the stump. Bulba hasn't even got a roar up, but with a call down coming from TC, already drops his ulti. It's actually two for nothing right now. EGM almost kept Loader alive through that. One last orb, picks up the Storm Spirit. TC is still going to keep going this one, even though way too sexy, taking a lot of damage. S4 thinking about turning around. It's a good thing he did not, though. That Sentry Ward is upgrade. Now in comes the Visage. And he sold something so he can pick that up. Now Reality Rift, TC. Four seconds on the stun on him again. And TC, Loader, he's got all of his illusions around him right now. And they bring him down, however, with the Soul Assumption and the Call Down. Loader's already used one charges, and now he'll Reality Rift a little bit further into Bulba. He dies on the edge for the Beastmaster. But at the same time, EGM being hunted by the Storm Spirit. Admiral Bulldog needs to make some space, but he can't do anything. He doesn't have anything. In fact, now he's going to get stunned up by the Chaos Bolt, which was stolen by the Rubik, giving a double kill over to Way Too Sexy. And there's that mech coming into the, the blades of attack, uh, which is obviously meant for the armor. Oh, Bulldog. Well, caught out. They're actually going to CK ulti into this one. He never got the Chaos Bolt off, however. Now he's going to pop off the BKB. EGM can take him back in about four seconds' time. He needs to hide for now. Tether's up to, in fact, one of the illusions, and he doesn't get out to safety. He'll go down, and Lotus BKB is now wearing off, and Liquid, they're going to move with this. They jump down. There's your Orchid over to Loader now. Wow. And three heroes from Alliance are lost. And Liquid now just win the second on Bluffer Stuff. The Spirits are coming, he's trying to throw Bulldog up the cliff, but it's not going to work, and then he pops the Blade Mal. Soul Assumption damage, wasn't wanting to come out at that point. And Quaver also just restrains from attacking out. Boy for now jumps up high, and he goes on Loader. Tether comes in right now from EGM, he hasn't used the ulti to pull him out of here. Which means Loader will go down. The BKB from Koifer being used, and now he will use the ulti. Buyback by CK, and this is when Liquid, they got to try and turn. They don't want to... Actually, maybe they do want to fight this. No, they don't. Rocket that's, watches them leave. That's a super obvious thing. They haven't backed enough because apparently Wait, two, they're going to get Fluff. Caught. They're in trouble. Reality Rift to start with over to Fluff and stuff. Two seconds on the stun from him. The Nova from Arke going to slow down the Visage. He's still had a Frostbite available. So Visage going to be held in position. And they're going to almost lock between the trees. Able to slip his way through this one. But Clockwork will get himself a double kill. Admiral Bulldog taking the two. They see the... Uh, familiar it's like, what? Saw middle lane jumps on Loader, but he used the Orc, but BKB be stronger than Orc, and, and S4 being dragged back in again. He's still got the Aegis Immortal, though. So they've used both BKBs. They've picked up at least the Aegis Hero, but that's it. Now they come back up alive again. Loader's very, very low on life. One shot is only just keeping alive from both EGM as well as Loader himself. While Arke dropping down the ulti, S4 
back into the mix. TC, one line's attack. Admiral Baldo oh. jumps in. They've lost one for one right now. S4 still away. Admiral Baldo battling up against Koifa. Loden will take oh. him out. S4, long way east. Vermoes is giving up the chase. And Bulba, he's going to get locked in between the tether. The imprisonment comes up from Fluff and stuff. And then Reality Rift actually locks Bulba in the trees. Axe is almost picking up S4, but the three seconds done. Familiars, Loder, he's armor toggling this one out right now. He's going to wait a little bit longer. He wants to kill. Way too safe, he's taking the aggro from the Kree wave, and Admiral Bulldog pushes him down with the cogs. Versace, though, ends the dominating spree of that clockwork, and Loader has to be tethered to get himself away from this one. They try and fight Familiars, four staffing up, away from the stun, solo assumption damage, not enough to pick up Loader. He's still able to armor toggle through all of this. I just... And he'll stay close enough. In then, two seconds done only on TC. I don't know if it's really going to be enough, but with oh. Clockwork jumping in as well, the Raw goes out on Loader. He needs that BKB off and running, and now he will pop it off and has to try and fight Phantasm up. TC's going to get back out of here. Way too sexy. Two seconds on him and, the sh and all the Phantasm illusions. Focus on the Visage. Now Crystal Maiden also. RK, he gets a full channel off on his ultimate in the middle of the fight. Four second Chaos Ball stun stolen, but then the Spear is still slowing down. Fluff up at the same time. TC, he's trying to get rid of IO, but it's just not possible with a Frostbite from RK. Okay, buys his teammate some time. Fluff us up again using the Chaos Bolt for a third time now. Over to RK. Chaos Bolt. Oh, actually, that, he just moved. He ran. The Nova went down. Fluff and stuff. He steals the Nova. Tries to return it. Will lose his own life at this one. These birds are being an absolute pain in the ass right now. Please kill them off. Because they have restricted the movement of Alliance, but Alliance still take the advantage in that fight. I think if Loda didn't commit... Well, he's in rather close. The Familiars are going to drop down on top of the tower. I don't see Alliance letting them have this tier 2 tower. Like, in comes the Wiz and Koifa jumps already, but in comes Clockwork as well. Right behind him. He's holding TC in there. The Blade Mail, well, it's not affecting these BKB-style heroes. And already, he's already ball back at the game. Hex on Koifa, and look at S4. Opens up, throws the only out Koifa. He's just got enough man to go up the hill, but he's still going to pop out from that one. While Loda going deeper into the lineup of Team Liquid. They're already through three. They're looking for the fourth right now. And they will pick him up, pull him back in. S4 with a double kill. The gem is also being dropped on the deck. So a very expensive lot was definitely worth it. And then you get a really big team fight win, but that's not what ended up happening. And oh, uh, quite far. Uh, he went for the Orca, but remember BKB and Lorna just oh, takes it man. off. Use the reality to get the other side of Creep Wave. And now with the Storm Spirit down, it's lucky that still got tier two towers up and running on the top and the bottom lane. Because it's, it's the town. There's no fortification to stop this. Storm, now he jumps in on S4. But Loader, Phantasm, pull in. There's the Raw, but TC, he's in a sandwich of Chaos Knight. The Aegis Immortal, again, they use it. Just as a bait, Koifa basically expended everything he had. Now Bulba, he'll also go down. Four seconds on the side. If things weren't bad enough, Koifa now hexed up. Double kill, and GG. The Swedish team, Alliance, will bring down the Americans and take the first game here in their best of five.